I just got back from Comic-Con in San Diego. I just wanted to show you what I had in my haul. So let's get started. I'm just going to first start off with some of the small stuff. Then we're going to get to the bigger stuff. Here, of course, is my lanyard. Got my badge. And this year they went with the Walking Dead AMC with blood splatter all over it. It's kind of cool looking. Um, on the back side of it, this one was kind of handy to have a little pouch for some of the small stuff. Uh, I have some Adult Swim tickets and had some Sanrio people street team give out these little uh, patches. I have Hello Kitty and Chuggo Cat. So I missed the Gudetama one. I really wanted that one out of all of them. <laughs> um, other lanyard. Went to the carnival and got the Black Nerdist one. Let me see if it'll want to focus. There you go. Black Nerdist all across. This one will kind of match the yellow one that I have, so I got that. Other lanyard. Dark Horse. Let me take this one out. Simple red and white. Dark Horse Comics lanyard right there. I'm gonna go to some of the pins that I got. Uh, like I said, I went to the Carnival for Nerdist and Geek and Sundry. If you do this, I know I accidentally, uh, they give you a map in the beginning. I pinned it <laughs> apparently. Um, they give you all these spots to do uh, these little tasks mainly for social media, but at the end you get this bear uh, going after this burrito uh, pin. And this one was just random, I just decided to pin it against it, but this is the Adult Swim pin that I got also. At the Adult Swim booth, I really wanted to get the pillow of Mr. Poopy Pants, but uh, there was kind of a crazy thing with the line and stuff. So I decided to get just the pins instead. Oh, I barely missed the the line for the pillows baby by like a couple people, which sucked. And they wouldn't give off their uh, displays, but I got this one instead. I got this Morty pin. It wants to focus. There you go. And then I got two of the Ooh Wee by Mr. Poopy Pants. So got those two on there. I got this from, I think, one of the Disney booths, uh, Disney Publishing. This is The Return, um, book two, Legacy Secrets, Kingdom Keepers. So, kind of looks cool. Nice little logo. Just a pin on that one. This one's just a scavenger hunt. Every day that they were out, they had two different ones. You had to go to one booth, and they would have one person, like the Terminator, and the other person would be... Let me see who it was. Uh, Robocop. So you had to go to a different booth to go get the corresponding one for this uh, Versus series. I, I did get the Alien. I didn't get the Predator. I, I wanted these two, but I was kind of lazy, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, and then Sunday was Jason and Freddy, but I picked up Terminator. Outside in the area, you there are these uh, big bus uh, of characters from FX out over there. If you take a picture, put it on uh, your, your social media, you'll get one of these uh, pin sets. Uh, this one is going to be... Uh, this one's going to be, I think, it's always sunny, uh, but there's just these ones. And then on the bottom, I really like this one, Atlanta FX. Uh, shout out to Childish Gambino. So. I have that, and I actually did it twice to get the other set. So this one has like the strain, and I'm not too sure of the other ones. Um, Waffle Hut, and then these two right over here. So I have that collection. And one of my favorite pins of the con, I would have to say, is going to be this one right over here. Sad Chewy by Luke McCarthy. Uh, this one is limited edition to 95 of 100. Sad Chewy, Forever Solo, one of my favorite pins. Uh, he was a cool guy. He helped me out get a commission for a friend, which I put on my Instagram, which I'll just probably pop over here. Uh, but that was a pretty awesome 
pin on that one. Uh, I totally forgot. This is pretty much my bag that I got from Comic Con. Uh, this year, the one that I got was Supergirl. Kind of cool how they have the bag this time. And there's an uh, augmented reality one, too. You have your flap, and then you have Supergirl. And inside of my bag, I do have... Entertainment Weekly, Quick Guide, the Comic-Con, uh, like the art stuff on there, and the actual events guide, which goes for uh, Star Trek 50th Anniversary, and they put Leonard Nimoy Spock on the cover. Uh, this is the Thunderbirds one, uh, slash Man in High Castle, Amazon Prime. Uh, this one you'd have to go through a bunch of stuff in the Amazon section outside of the hall to uh, get little stuff, which I'm going to get to, and then at the end they say you get a goodie bag, but no, you actually get a bag, and <laughs> that was pretty much it. Here's another patch that I got at Adult Swim, this is the Venture Brothers. It's pretty big. This one was free when you just get to the prize counter, and I kind of like that one. This is from Adult Swim. When you take a picture with Mr. Pickles, uh, they'll send the digital copy, and of course they send you this. I got a mask of Mr. Pickles right over here. And one cool thing I think is this. <laughs> it's a dog toy of a prostitute's leg, <laughs> which is pretty funny. And you have your bone right there, flesh, on high heel. This one says 666 good boy and on the tag itself it says no prostitutes were harmed in the making of this dog toy so um, I knew that one of my uh, favorite youtubers was gonna be there uh, Dodger Films if you guys don't know go check his channel out uh, this is a ball that was given to me by a good friend uh, this is the 50th year Dodger Stadium uh, baseball and so what I did when I saw Dodger Films there, I asked him if he could sign it, and here it is. Bobby Crosby, right over there. Go check his channel out. He's the guy who pretty much gets home run balls and while he records with the camera. He doesn't do those videos much anymore because they, <laughs> I think he got in trouble with Dodgers and stuff, but one of my favorite guys. Just go check his channel out. But shout out to Bobby Crosby for uh, signing this baseball for me. We went to the Game of Thrones exhibit. Uh, the first 500 people there would get what it said on the site, a free pop and a free poster, but they wanted to spread the goods out, so they gave the first 500 people the pop, and then the next 500 people the poster. I got the White Walker. Trust me, these aren't like really crazy as far as uh, selling or anything like that. These are just commons. I already have like a couple of these ones from Edition 1. I didn't have the White Walker, so I went ahead and uh, take this one. Pretty cool looking one. I over here. I went to actually get this one pre-ordered from Mattel. This is the bag that you get it, and this is what I got from Mattel. Now, I don't really buy too many wrestling items, but I had to get this one because this was like childhood memories right here. I bought the Shockmaster. Uh, Shockmaster, if you guys don't know, just look him up on YouTube. But in WCW, if you go check him out, the, the reason why I wanted to buy this one is because also the packaging. He's upside down. His helmet is on the bottom over there. He's a wrestler who had this flashy entrance, and he fell through the, the what's it called, the wall, and he tumbled, and his helmet came off. That's why his helmet is actually over there, and when he put his helmet back on, you find out it's a uh, glittered Stormtrooper helmet, which was really funny. Shockmaster is almost like a real, like a real small inside joke, so <laughs> that's why I pretty much picked this one up, and this every single time I see this, it makes me laugh, so shout out to uh, WWE, WWC, uh, WCW for making this on for comics. Okay, uh, first day. At Comic Con, I did go to the Conan O'Brien taping. They uh, here's the 360 viewer. 
And as usual, when you do go see Conan O'Brien at the end, you do get one of these pops. And this here, it is Superman Conan. And on the box itself, 2016 Funko Limited Edition sticker. Yeah, so I really wanted to get at least one uh, 2016 Comic-Con Limited Edition uh, pop. And this would be it. Get, I got it for free. They were doing a lot of, uh, they were giving a lot of these ones out after, at, during the uh, lotteries and stuff, but I'm glad I got this one. And I put the ticket, I don't know if you can see, right in the back side for this one. Uh, I just kind of went through the Disney section and I picked this one up, the Amateurs, Sasha, uh, Sarah Shepard. Uh, this is just a chapter exclusive. I saw, well, Paolo saw this one, uh, Galactic Hot Dogs. These ones were free. Um, these ones were free, and I just decided to go get it. Uh, give me some reading material of some sort. Uh, one of the funny things from last year, at least, was the Colonel Sanders stuff, especially if you go outside of the con and find his uh, free Wi-Fi spots. Uh, but they also do give you a free comic last year. Their comic came with the uh, bow tie. This year is just going to be a regular comic itself. Haven't really looked through it, but I will definitely check it out just because the last ones were kind of funny over the top and I dug that a lot. Uh, went to the DC booth. They were just randomly handing this one out. DC Universe Rebirth. Uh, I will definitely try to read up on that one. Next one is going to be Snot Girl. These are the two covers. There is going to be a there is going to be a uh, what's called Comic Con exclusive with the green uh, top uh, and black and white picture on there. Uh, but yeah, I picked up the, just the two regular uh, variants on on this particular one. If you guys don't know, this is going to be Brian Lee O'Malley and Leslie Hung's project. I really wanted to go to the signing, but I kind of got lazy and I got tired, so not a good combination, but definitely, definitely want to check this uh, project out. And lastly, as far as books goes, I got this, my Gravity Falls journal number three, which is Dippers. I love all these little quotes, and then on the back side, this book is amazing, buy it twice, Grunkle Stan. Uh, they were giving out um, a book plate, as far as this one goes, uh, that was signed by Alex Hirsch. I am very happy with this one. I do like the book itself without the cover, just because it looks more like how the, the book actually looks like. Because this jacket cover says Gravity Falls on there. It looks kind of weird, but so, so happy that I could get this, especially kind of earlier. Oops. Kind of early. Um, so there's that. I got this Son of Zorn uh, thing. If you just sit on like the Phoenix and take a picture, they give you a sword so you could uh, hold it out on there. Went to the Thunderbirds uh, Amazon thing and this was one of their posters that they got. Kind of cool style on them. This is number two. And this was number three. Super cool style. I definitely, definitely like it. Uh, these little cards, they're supposed to be like actual prints from the Star Wars card trader game. Just picked up a couple of these ones. I also have a Darth Maul somewhere, but just picked those ones up. At the Santa Cruz booth where they were doing the uh, what's it called? The skateboard stuff. This is what I got from there. Just gonna be these two prints. I thought they were gonna actually switch them out every day, but they just made two of them, so... Shout out to Eddie. He'll probably get one of these ones over there. ...by Brittany Lee, aka Brit Sketch. This is her newest piece right over here. Or one of her newer ones. Uh, this one's our Game of Thrones one with the Khaleesi. I thought this one was awesome and also her new piece with Khaleesi and on it is signed Brittany Lee 2016 her stuff is amazing I love seeing all of her projects uh, especially the actual versions of their, her paper craft stuff 
really, really cool stuff. Okay, and next is gonna be what I got at the Star Trek Beyond uh, world premiere. This is gonna be your seat cushion right over here. Mine hasn't really been uh, sat on, but they give you one of these. Star Trek Beyond world premiere, San Diego, July 20, 2016. Super cool. They gave us food, which was crazy. Couldn't bring in this particular camera, which sucked, but everything else worked out really, really well. They gave us food, like I said. They gave us an orchestra while we watched the movie. They gave us a fireworks show, a laser show, and then at the very end they said, go get your gift bag at the very back over there. So th I got the white one. I think there was an orange and a different color. But on here, it's just like the cushion says, world premiere San Diego in July 20, 2016. Inside, well, this one is just the win like one of the winning ticket stuff. So this is what you do when you win. Inside, I got this hat with the Live Long and Prosper by Spock, which is cool. And then on the back side, Star Trek Beyond. They gave us this really cool lanyard, Star Trek Beyond, world premiere, has a date, IMAX, excuse me. They have the date, IMAX, and everything on there. Cool little lanyard on that. Like I said, they gave us food. Here's still my popcorn from it. Here's my wristband. Oh, and shout out to Steve for winning the uh, this lottery. I never win anything, so shout out to Steve for this one. They give you this shirt as well. Really nice shirt, and it's actually, I think this one is a medium, which will fit me. This is how the shirt looks like. Oops, let me put that out just a little bit more. So that's what the shirt looks like, and that's the design to it. It looks really, really cool. And then when you look inside of it, they gave us Blu-rays, man, which is pretty sick. So, here's my ticket for Beyond. I put this with Star Trek on Blu-ray. They gave us Star Trek, the original series, on Origins on Blu-ray. They gave us Into the Darkness on Blu-ray. And they gave us The Wrath of Khan, director's cut, on Blu-ray also. And that's what they gave us for... Star Trek Beyond. Shout out to Steve. That right there was awesome. Th these are a couple of prints that I liked from uh, The Beast is Back slash Night Kate Press. I love Gravity Falls, as you may know. Uh, I picked up these little cards right over here. Love the style of the look of these ones. Uh, Dipper Pines with the gnomes. And then you have Mabel with Waddles. Then you have Zeus as a zombie. And then you have Wendy right over here. Such a cool print. Bought all four of those ones, and I'll probably stick them in the dipper book. And then I <laughs> bought this one from a vendor across the street. Uh, Pokemon Go, of course, everybody's all crazy over that. I just wanted to rep my team. Of course, Team Instinct. Saw a couple of uh, the Team Instinct players out over there. Shout out to you guys if you're Team Instinct, but bought this one. There was a little fandom party from MTB also. Didn't really care about that, but they were giving those. And then what I really came for was this one over here. These are the seven inch vinyls from Mondo. Uh, some of these are gonna be limited edition to a certain amount, but the reason why these are my favorite things that I got at Comic-Con was because I got to meet Michael Giacchino, and he got to sign some of my vinyls, so this one is for Inside Out, Michael Giacchino. Each one of these ones, of course, for the uh, emotions, have a different color to them. Uh, there's five emotions, so you have anger, you have disgust, you have fear, joy, and sadness. 
but each emotion uh, has their own color to their vinyl, so anger would be red, uh, disgust would be green, fear would be purple, joy would be yellow, and then uh, sadness with blue, and then um, and then Riley on the end is actually going to be half yellow, half blue, which is so crazy. But the crazier part, pretty much, was that I got to meet Michael Giacchino. He was at Comic Con, especially for Star Trek Beyond, because he did the the uh, music for that. So I just went ahead and went on Twitter and asked Michael Giacchino if he was going to be there for the whole weekend. And he liked my comment. I didn't know what that was about, so I asked him, Hey, I just bought these Mondo vinyls. Would you be able to sign them? And through the power of Twitter, he actually talked back to me, said uh, t that we could link up the next day to get these things signed. And so the next day passes, a couple hours pass, and he just happens to be shopping around, and I see him, but I don't ask him to sign my vinyls right away. Um, I just didn't want to disturb him, really. So I waited for him to pretty much answer back. He DM'd me on Twitter saying he's on a certain row. We go behind a art, uh, like an art gallery type room, and he gets to, we get to talking for a little bit, and he signs this one for me. This one's the Joy one for Paul Mike Giacchino. This one's my favorite one, and he actually inscribed it to for Paul. Don't be too blue, Michael Giacchino, and this is of course sadness. And then this one over here, Michael Giacchino, inside out, for Paul, Michael Giacchino, for Riley's. Uh, the reason why I init initially wanted these vinyls is because I actually have the Joni Mitchell blue, which is right over here. So this is Joni Mitchell's blue, along with sadnesses uh, inside out. So I love this so much. I'm going to probably frame all of these ones, but this is going to be my favorite, my favorite thing that I got from Comic-Con, hands down. Uh, that was probably my favorite moment also, but there you have it. That's pretty much all that I got, and my room is a freaking mess now. So I hope I don't go overboard on this video. I'm really going to have to edit most of this one, but yeah, that was it. I want to go up again next year. Hope to see you guys. Peace out.